Hey, I'm Dr. McCleary, and I make mental health videos for veterans and their families. In this video, I want to talk about how PTSD is developed and why PTSD ends up causing so much issues regarding concentration and memory. Remember, if you get value from this video, go ahead and give it a like, or more important than that, share this video with another veteran. Think of your brain as just a huge file cabinet. And each file is a memory. Simple enough, right? So each file, good or bad, all goes in the file cabinet. They're all jumbled up in there, but they all have their own space. Now, when a trauma happens, Often, it's hard for that file to get filed with the rest. And however much we try to fit that file into the rest of the file cabinet, it seems to just not fit. Okay. Well, here's the problem. Often what we do, or often what happens, is if we can't get the file to fit, we can't get the experience to fit with the rest of our memories. Then we take that file and we set it on top of the file cabinet. Here's the problem with that. Every time we go in, look for an old memory, we got to look at that file on top. We have to look at that trauma on top. Every time we go to make a new memory, we got to look at that trauma on top. So it almost seems like we can't escape looking at the trauma. So what do we do? We do what anybody that would have that experience would do, which is to stop looking at the file cabinet. Well, this is where we end up having a problem. Because if every time you go and try to make a new memory, you remember that you have to look at that trauma, well, guess what? Maybe it's going to be a little bit hard to encode or remember that memory. All you can think about is the trauma. Same thing happens when we try to pull out an old memory. We try to pull out an old memory, but somehow... Now that memory, even though it might have happened before the trauma, somehow gets attached to the trauma. Because in order to get it, remember we have to look at that file on top of the file cabinet. Well, PTSD treatment is structured to make that memory fit. Mind you, it's not meant to get rid of the memory. It's not meant to do what we would all like to do, which is take that file, go ahead and put it in the shredder. That's not something that we can do. A trauma is an experience that we've all happened, that has all happened to many of us, and it's created a file. So trauma work, PTSD treatment, is structured towards taking that trauma and putting it in the file cabinet like the rest of your memories where it should belong so you can go ahead and close that file cabinet once and for all now mind you it'll still be in there and if you want to go look at it you have the choice to but now you have the choice to. You have the choice to go pull that trauma memory out. Or to not. Something to think about. If this video was helpful for you, and I hope that it was, please like it or consider subscribing to my channel if you want to learn more about PTSD and mental health. But more important than that, if this video was helpful for you, then that means it can probably be helpful for another veteran 
or another friend or family member of a veteran. So I ask that you share it with them. Because at the end of the day, that's really what all this is about. One veteran trying to help another.